OK, in this next one, we have f of x equals square root of 2x minus 3. Is there any restriction implied or any restriction given to us? Yeah, but is there any restriction given to us? No. So the implied domain is all real numbers, right? However, we realize that there's an x under a radical, right? And we know that whenever there's an x under a radical, it's not so much actually, I kind of can see how this, what I wrote down could be confusing. Because it's not so much x has to be greater than or equal to 0, but it's the quantity under the radical has to be greater than or equal to 0. This quantity that you're taking the square root of has to be greater than or equal to 0. So my, I do have a restriction on its domain. It's not given to us, but it's a restriction that we've talked about. So therefore, my restriction, I have 2x minus 3, has to be greater than or equal to 0. So now, to find my domain, I just solve for x. OK, now x has to be greater than or equal to 3 halves. So what values can x not be equal to? Anything less than 3 halves, right? Correct? So if you look, if you kind of think about this, if you have negative infinity to infinity, right, that's your implied domain. But we can't have any negative numbers, right? Can't have any negative numbers. So that whole side doesn't even work um, over there, at least, because x has to be greater than or equal to th um, 3 halves. So 3 halves is right around here, or is right there. It, my graph has to be equal to 3 halves. It has to be equal to 3 halves or to the right. So anything to the left of 3 halves is not within the domain. It's only saying it has to be 3 halves or equal to. The difference in the last one was we were just finding the values you know, that, weren't in, that made the denominator equal to 0 that weren't part of our domain. So the way to write our domain is instead of going from negative infinity to infinity, we're going to go from 3 halves to infinity. However, a difference. Do you guys remember when I was doing the asymptotes? I said, hey, it's either a whole or it's an asymptote, right? Right? The graph doesn't exist at that value. When we did rational, the graph does not exist at that value. If it doesn't exist, if there's actually a number that doesn't exist, we use the parentheses. Infinity is not a finite number, so we use the parentheses. However, does 3 halves exist? Yes, and the function is valued at 3 halves, so we use a bracket. Okay, When it's not a value of the function, or it's not a finite number like infin or such as infinity or negative infinity, we're going to use brackets. But if it's a uh, number that is evaluated out for our function, we're going to use a bracket. So why don't you guys go ahead and try to do the next two. 